Report Builder tool now gives you the ability to add more visuals to your reports by allowing you to import saved fundamental charts and scatter plots. These visuals can help you showcase portfolio growth versus your benchmark, historical returns of funds, or even spreads and correlations that you have built out. To add these new modules, head to the Report Builder like I have here and then choose to either create a brand new report by clicking this button, or you can choose to edit a previously created report. I'm going to go ahead and edit one of the reports that have been previously created. To do that, I'm just going to click on this pencil icon here and click edit. From here, I'm just going to go to the bottom of my page, click add page, and then to add these specific modules, I will want to click page editor right here, and then you will find both of them in the other category towards the bottom. So as you can see, both are here. Similar to our other modules, we are just going to drag and drop. And as you can see, it will prompt you to add one of your saved fundamental charts or a chart that has been shared with you from a colleague. I'm going to go ahead and open one of the charts that I've created. And as you can see, it has populated right here. One thing to note is it will populate exactly how it was saved. So when I saved this chart in the fundamental chart tool, I added both a max and min line, and I chose to have a look back period of one year. So if you save this with your custom color showing, it will pull in exactly like this. If you save it showing a 10 year look back, it will pull in that 10 year time frame. So make sure that you have it exactly saved how you want before you import. If you by chance need to go back and change a few things, you can just click on this pencil icon edit and then re-download. Another thing to note is that if you would like to make sure that this is updating at the end of every market day, you will want to make sure on the fundamental chart tool itself that that end date is left blank so the current data will flow through. When adding the scatter plot, it's going to be the same as adding that fundamental chart. Just go back to modules right here and then drag and drop your scatter plot. Similar to before, it's going to prompt you to add either one of the scatter plots you created or one that a colleague has created. So I'm going to head to shared with me and then I'm going to add this one right here. As you can see, it's going to take a second to load and then it's going to populate all of that information right here. If I wanted to go in and change the colors of these, I would have to go into the scatter plot tool itself, change the colors, and then come back and re-add it. When it comes to changing out your visuals, what is great is that you don't have to go in and create a brand new report every single time you want to show a different chart or scatter plot. You will simply just need to go to the edit tab right here and I'm actually going to switch out the fundamental chart. So once I'm in edit right here, if I click on the top pencil icon, it will prompt me to enter in a different chart. I'm just going to choose this one on consumerism. And then if I wanted to change the name of the chart itself, all I would do is click on the bottom pencil icon, add in the new name, click out, and then it's going to save. It will automatically default to the title of your fundamental chart here, just to note. And then if I wanted to go in and I decided that I don't want this fundamental chart, I could go in, click delete this module, and then I can drag and drop a different module here, or I can leave it blank as well. Before exiting the tool and generating my report, I'm going to want to click save, save again. Once it's saved, it will then allow you to generate the report like normal. If you have any questions on our report builder tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.